Tachycardia is the medical term to describe a heart rate that sits above 100 beats per minute. Now it's described or classified as a type of arrhythmia due to the effects on its heart rate and rhythm. So it's quite normal to experience a heart rate that may sit above 100 beats per minute and this can be due to many things including exercise, uh, periods of stress or emotion, but if the heart rate isn't due to any of those physiological responses, that's when things need to be looked into a little further. If tachycardia is left untreated, there can be serious consequences, including cardiac arrest, stroke, uh, and things such as heart failure. So if we look into some common signs and symptoms, uh, they are generally related to the rhythm of the heart and potentially lack of oxygen. So we're looking at feelings of dizziness, lightheadedness, we might be feeling palpitation in our chest. Uh, and if we look for our pulse, so if we're looking through um, at our wrist or on our neck, we might notice an irregular and light, uh, but quite quick heart rate. So that's generally tachycardia. It is elevated a heart rate above that 100 beats per minute for no external reason. So it's not due to exercise or emotion. Now, the way that tachycardia can be diagnosed mostly is through an ECG. Uh, other ways to look at it might be a halter monitor, a stress test, or other ways to view the heart's rhythm and electrical impulses. Now, if we look at exercise, it is super important for anybody with a heart condition or an arrhythmia, uh, and this includes tachycardia. So not only can exercise help to reduce um, the risk factors for developing tachycardia, it can also help to improve the strength and function of our heart and the cardio system as a whole. So exercise is really important, even if you do have a heart condition. Some things to look out for include dizziness, palpitation and chest pain if you are exercising. And in that instance, you would seek medical attention immediately. But generally speaking, over time, a person with tachycardia will learn how their body responds to certain types of exercise. So they will know, uh, you know exercises that suit them well and intensities that suit them well as well. The main thing is that you look to start quite conservatively and build up over time as your fitness increases. If you want to start exercising and you have tachycardia, first talk to your GP and your cardiologist. They might like to first screen you for a stress test. And from there, it's wise to engage the help of an exercise physiologist so that you can be uh, prescribed and delivered an exercise program that is really specific to your needs and your current abilities.